What's up, everyone? My name is Rob Kearney, professional strongman athlete. Um, I have been doing strongman now for 11 years. So I'm 28 years old. I did my first strongman competition when I was only 17 years old. Growing up, um, I was a lot like most kids in high school. I played a lot of sports. I played football. I played baseball. I was a cheerleader uh, and was mediocre at best in all of those sports. So I found a lot of excitement in the weight room and training for those sports. And fortunately was noticed one day by a teacher at my high school who was also a CrossFit coach and kind of took me under his wing and started training me. So I would actually be going to the gym at five o'clock in the morning before school uh, and really found out quickly that I was horrible at CrossFit, but I loved lifting heavy weights. So there was one morning after I'd been there for a few months I walked into the gym they said, hey Rob, there's a strongman competition this weekend. We signed you up for it. Up until that point, I had never touched an implant. My knowledge of the sport of strongman was what most people is and uh, what I saw on ESPN is what I knew about the sport. So I kind of just shook my head, said, okay, let's do it and jumped into my first competition. And I got my ass kicked to say the least. <laughs> um, took dead last place uh, out of 27 competitors, but absolutely fell in love with the sport. Um, you know, from there, went on to college and, you know, met the owner of the gym that I'm sitting in today at a local competition after that. And I've been a member at this gym uh, for 11 years now and training and getting better at Strongman. And it really was a long come up in the sport for me. It took me eight years to get to World's Strongest Man. So when I initially began competing in strongman, I competed in the under 200 pound weight class. And I really wasn't good at the sport whatsoever. Uh, I took last place in the first eight competitions that I did. And while it was disheartening and frustrating to take last place, uh, I was also just falling more in love with the sport and the people that I was meeting and the process of competing and learning how to compete. And that's what really kept me in it. And the only reason I got to where I am today is because I had set many goals for myself throughout my entire career. You know, when I first started in Strongman, it was never, my goal was never to get to World's Strongest Man or be competing at the Arnold Strongman Classic on these type of stages. Uh, my first goal in Strongman was just not to take last place. So on competition number nine, I did that, which was awesome. And then from there, it was just setting other small attainable goals that I knew I could achieve. And that's why I've kind of kept up in this sport for so long. In 2013, I won the Amateur National Championship here in the U.S. and um, became a lightweight pro strongman. So lightweight division in strongman is 231 and under. Um, and competed in that weight class for three years. So I took second place at America's Strongest Man in 2014 and 2015 in that weight class and also set the log press world record in that event, uh, in that weight class. So I, I at a body weight of 231, pressed 410 pounds over my head. And then in 2016, I went over to Lithuania and competed at the Log Press World Championships. That was hosted by Zadruna Savikis and competed against these behemoths of men. And at a body weight of 246, uh, I actually won that competition with a lift of 445 and a half on the log. And it was my first international contest and my first international win. And that was, at, that was kind of the moment that I realized that I could make the step up and compete in the heavyweight division. And that's what I did in 2017. January of that year, uh, entered New York's Strongest Man, won that competition and got myself an invite to the Arnold uh, Africa in 2017. And along with doing that, kind of caught the eye of the promoters of World's Strongest Man and ended up getting a wild card invite to World's Strongest Man in 2017. Uh, and then from there, I've just been kind of riding the wave. I you know, was fortunate enough to win Giants Live North America 2017. Uh, I won the Arnold Australia in 2019 and also was able to compete at the Arnold Strongman Classic in 2020. So it's been a long career thus far for 11 years. I've worked my way through from the little guys of the 200 pound weight class all the way up to the heavyweights now where I am the smallest athlete as uh, you know, on the pro circuit at this weight class competing against guys like Brian Shaw, Hafthor Bjornsson, um, you know, that are six foot eight, 440 pounds. But fortunately, uh, you know, I'm keeping up with them and still setting records. So make sure you stay tuned for more content from me with Animal. We're gonna be working on a lot of awesome things to dive into the world of Strongman, what my life is like and what it takes to compete at this level.